you can think on the fucking radio, you sneaky little motherfucking turd stomper. And your day will come. I didn't know any better, I'd think you were talking about me. What's the call sign of the guy you're talking about? He doesn't give out his information. He doesn't give out his call sign? No. Hmm, there you go. But he's on AM. He gets on AM um, whenever it's fucking uh, working. And he's just got a new uh, kicker or something. And he's running a lot more power now. And he's just, uh, yeah, he's playing the comp game down here and giving out my address on the radio. Hmm, okay. Well, I think I know just about everyone on AM down here on the Gold Coast. And, uh, I don't know anyone that doesn't give out a call sign. What's his name? Might be, might be Jeff or something like that. I don't know, I'll forget. But I'll have to remember and write it down. Uh, he's pretty, he's not far from me. Like, 101 is between me and America. I'm between 101, I mean. But this other guy's a little bit north of me. Hmm. Is his name Craig? No, it's not Craig. Well, that's okay, because my name's Craig. One oh one's my brother. Well, maybe it is you. And I stomp all over you with a kilowatt. Are you working AM in the morning? Uh, what? This morning? No, not this morning. Uh, I work AM quite a bit. I talk into Hawaii a lot. Yeah, that'd be you then. You give it out my, did you give out my address over the radio? Uh, it's quite possible. Do I know your address? Oh, well, you know if you do. Sure I would. Hmm. Anyway, this is 142 here. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. 142. At you. Yeah, OK. So I'm stomping over people with a kilowatt. Right, so I'm running a kilowatt now, am I? You fucking ass. I will fucking find you one day. You little fucking smart ass. At least your brother's a little bit more fucking grown up. You must be the younger of the two, obviously. 
Yeah, I am. And I don't like using swear words and stuff either and abusing people and coming up on their channel and not breaking in and then abusing them because they won't call you in when they never even heard you. Yeah, look, we could carry this on all night. I thought you'd got over this. Um, obviously you haven't and you still want to keep abusing people. Look, mate, look. I'm not even going to talk to you anymore. I don't even know why I bother. So you said you were recording me too. You say that to them, that's illegal. You said you were recording me and you were going to put me into the ACMA. No such a bullshit, you little fuckwit. Uh, never at any time did I say I was going to put you into the ACMA. Um, yeah, so I think you're imagining a few things there. You really might, I don't know, you've got issues. You might need to get professional help. you want to do that right when I'm working? Mate, I don't know what you're talking about. I've got a job, a 7 to 3.30 job, mate. Yeah, well, you seem to have a lot of time to get on the radio. Obviously, it's not yeah, me. Sure, I do. You're on drugs, pal. You're on some serious drugs. Don't do drugs, buddy. Don't do drugs at all. 50 years fucking old, fit as a fill, and solid as a rock. And I'll fucking grab you by the fucking scruff of the neck and put you through the first fucking dunny wall I fucking find. Yep, okay, mate. You just keep on dreaming. Live your dream, mate. And, uh, yeah, try and get help. Man, yeah, whatever. I'll just put my brain up and I'll find uh, which direction you're in. And I'll just drive that way when you're talking AM. Mate, look, I don't even know why you bother. I'm in the rank, if you need a hand. Start in Naran, in the high areas of Naran. That's where I am, right? There you go. Well, there you go. Yeah, that's right. You were in Naran too. I remember that now. I'm surprised you remember anything. You seem to forget a lot of things. No, it's just, uh, you're not important. So uh, I should be writing these things down. You know, you, know, you just piss me off a little bit. You know, you know, 101's a little bit more fucking respectful than you. Uh, but you know, acknowledge me, but you just don't seem to get over it. Mate, I don't know what you're on about, pal. I did tell you after you called me a whole heap of uh, absolute uh, terrible uh, words that I didn't want to talk to you ever again, and that's about the worst thing I've done to you. Um, and you know what? That's pretty good, man. That's pretty tame compared to some of the things you have to say about people other than me. Listen to the fan driving it, mate. It's not 300 watts. You got no idea, pal. I'm on a hill. Ben, what are you doing on the CRX? Speak to him and high power on a fucking amateur radio. Well, mate, look, I know for starters, you brag, you get up here and talk about running 80 watts. You probably, I don't know, whatever. You're just a troublemaker, mate, and all you're going to do is bring trouble to everybody. I'm not a troublemaker. I talk to everyone. Your problem is your head's up your ass. Yeah, mate, look, the only person I give stick to you is to you. And, yeah, I try really hard not to swear or anything like that at you, but you really rile me up. Yeah, well, you know where I live. You give out the information all over the radio. You never know, mate. I'm sure I'd get done pretty heavily by the police if I do that. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about the police. Delusional. No, look, mate, I think it's as simple as this. You have an ice problem or some sort of heavy methamphetamine problem. You can't remember abusing people. 